understand. Are we saying, do we think the vast majority of Americans are racist? That's what I'm trying to, I, I, help I, me I understand. I think that there is a significant portion um, that are racist and you can't dismiss my lived experience. I'm, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. I don't know why I put myself through this, but thanks for joining to suffer through it with me. If there is one topic that The View and Sonny Hosen in particular talk about and damage the country most with, it's race. My whole thing is that I don't make broad judgments about people based on their skin color to demonize and fear monger about them because I wouldn't want that done to me. Despite the fact that it's actually quite mainstream for whites to be broadly judged and demonized. The spew still gets watched by way too many people. And despite knowing it's a studio audience, the applause and response to Sonny Hostin's insane rantings is more than a little stomach churning. Just to set this up, Sonny Hostin, Joy Behar, and Whoopi Goldberg all agree that most Americans are racist. And by Americans, they mean white people. Oh, great. And there are yeah, absolutely right. racist yes. people in this country. It is not the vast majority of people in this country. And I feel we like don't know well, that. What, we don't the know FBI that. director said white supremacy but is that the does, biggest but that threat still to our country today. Well, that still doesn't mean that that's the vast majority of people. I just don't believe that in my day-to-day -day life that the people that you're encountering harbor racist viewpoints. All right, so I'm just going to respond to some of the things that were said during that exchange. Number one, in response to Ferreira saying that most Americans aren't racist, Joy Behar responded with, quote, we don't know that. Just take a moment to understand how deprived that statement is. She doesn't know that most Americans aren't racist. She does know that most Americans, and by that she means white people, are racist. What an asshole. If some random white person were on the show and were talking that way about any other group in this manner, it would be instantly called out as racist. We don't know that most black people aren't criminals. Or we don't know that most Jewish people aren't anti-white. Or we don't know that most Muslims aren't plotting terrorist attacks. <laughs> In the early 2000s, we were told that it was only a tiny fringe of Muslims that were committing Islamic terrorist attacks, and to broadly judge the entire religion was racist. Oh, that was different. Now the exact same people say that white supremacy, whatever the hell that is, is the greatest threat America faces. According to the Smithsonian, white supremacy is punctuality, the scientific method, and the nuclear family. So that's probably why Sonny Hostin is seeing them everywhere. I just don't believe that in my day-to-day -day life that the people that you're encountering harbor racist viewpoints. I do think that this division that if we're you creating- you look like me, you would believe differently. But you know what? Uh Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Oh, Trump card. She's allowed to broadly generalize, stereotype, and demonize because she powdered her lips and has brown skin. Therefore, anything said in response to her racist blathering is invalid. It's so stupid and childish, but this is what we've become thanks to these dusty skanks. I do think that this division that if we're you creating- you look like me, you would believe differently. But you know what, uh, Alyssa, the woman, the woman- so, but Just to, just to understand, are we saying, do we think the vast majority of Americans are racist? That's I, what I'm trying to, I, I, help I, me I understand. I think that there is a significant portion um, that are racist and you can't dismiss my lived experience. And I'm, I never yeah, was when I, 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 and I, I never yeah, would when say, I, I, don't, I would never do When I say that there are a lot of racists in this country, oh, I, I just agree. experienced my son walking down the beach being called the N-word several times. I don't believe you. Continue. In Florida. There's, there is. So don't, you can't say, I believe that the vast majority of people aren't racist. We but know. again, we, I, we okay, don't that's know that. Fair. There and are 300 million people in this country. Right. I would never minimize your lived experience any yeah. more than I would yeah. mine but, as but, an but, Arab but, woman. But. <laughs> of course. Here we go again. She can dismiss you, yes, because she has brown skin. But no, you cannot dismiss her. It's different, and the standards that she applies to you cannot be applied to her. And there's that stomach-churning applause and response. Not surprising, since this is the same studio audience that thought it was hilarious when one of the guests called for the murder of pro-life people. When I say that there are a lot of racists in this country, oh, I, I just experienced my son walking down the beach being called the N-word 
several times. Oh, <laughs> what the hell ever? By who? A bunch of white people wearing red MAGA hats, throwing the N-word and chasing your son down with noose lassos while screaming, this is for our dictator? I just love how she breaks down like this at the very mention that maybe perhaps she's wrongly judging people. I want to point out that Sonny Hostin has made this exact same claim before, several years ago, claiming that a bunch of people just randomly started yelling the N-word at her and her friends. Regardless, her personal experiences don't then justify her broadly judging 232 million people. If I did the exact same thing, I could say that all the data and videos that I see tell me that we don't know most black people aren't a violent threat who would kill us at the drop of a hat. I keep seeing all these videos of black people targeting white people for beatings and even killing them, yet somehow it never makes the news or the view. Or the fact that the stats we have available show pretty clearly that one side is more of a threat to the other. The fact this sort of thing is being promoted by the most watched daytime TV show is more than a little nefarious, especially when taken along with all the other questionable practices like DEI, which is just systemic racial discrimination that are being mainstreamed in every single institution right now. Are whites being targeted by the media and government for racial discrimination and demonization? Let me know in the comments and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button as well. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.